What's up guys, I've been having a lot of fun reviewing various resistance band foot plates and bars, and now I started rekindling my interest in loop style resistance bands. And with that, I started playing around and obtaining a variety of different bands from other companies, which led me back to a question I kind of addressed or had in previous videos many years ago, which is how much of a difference in these more so high quality resistance bands, specifically loop style bands, is there between differences in companies, between overall quality and also their overall strength and integrity? And again, I'm really talking about loop style bands, not the tube style bands. I think those definitely have some cheaper quality. There are some really good companies like Body Elastics, which I've covered in previous videos. So I listened to some of you guys and kind of the word in the street as far as like what were the best quality loop style resistance bands that were out there went ahead and obtained some of those, and this is kind of the summary of what I wanna share with you guys. So in this video, I'm creating sort of a battle of the bands, comparing some of these more higher end companies that specialize in loop style resistance bands. And the companies specifically I'll be looking at are Rogue Fitness, Elite FTS, Serious Steel, Rubber Bandits, Clench Fitness, the X3 bands, Undersun Fitness, and then the cheapest and most basic one you guys can find on Amazon, which is the Sun Power Resistance Bands. Some full disclosure and a preface to this video, some of these companies did give me their bands full outright for free, which I'm extremely grateful for. Some of these gave them to me at a discount, but there's also majority of these I also did pay for out of full price out of my own pocket. But if you guys do wanna pick up any of these bands, I do have a variety of promo codes that I think give you guys some of the most competitive and cheapest price, which I'll link down below in the description box if you guys are all interested. But of course, I'm gonna give you guys my most honest review possible so you guys can make the best decision. Just go without saying, this is simply my opinion. You guys share your thoughts and opinions down below in the comment section. Maybe there's some other companies I didn't address, or certainly, of course, definitely are. I definitely couldn't get a hold of all the companies that are out there. I'm also not gonna go over the direct weight comparisons. Some of these are different sizes, but I even noticed that on some websites, they would be listed as a lower weight, but felt heavier than some other companies. So I'll touch on that a little bit, but the direct comparisons between weights, I'm not really getting into too much. And I should note that all of these are kind of that standard 41 inch length that you guys find on most loop style bands. To kind of start, I wanna just describe why I made this video in the first place, because if you guys go on all these different websites, they all start to sound like exactly the same thing, even among like really cheap bands versus more high-end expensive bands. Most of these companies will point out and boast that they are made out of pure latex, which is certainly something you guys wanna look for. All of them will say they're very high quality and multi-layered bands, and all of them will say they're essentially built to last. But then when you kind of get into the reviews and some of the comments I've heard from you and also some videos I've seen, people have said that some of these do prematurely wear faster more so than others over time. People certainly have their preferences and kind of tension overall feel. And I can kind of attest to that. There are definitely some similarities and still some of those feelings of like, well, just buy the band that fits your budget and what you kind of the strength level that you guys need. But there are some personal preferences as far as like feel, the overall tension, if it's more stiff or more stretchy. So that's one of the kind of the things I wanna highlight in this video. Why these particular bands made the cut, mostly so were chosen because they were the most popular, the ones based on what I've heard are most respected from you guys and on the online communities as well. Uh, you guys can go on Amazon and find tons of different numbers of companies that pop up and continue to grow of these style of loop style bands specifically. A lot of these companies are tend to be kind of more smaller cut band tensions. They come in kind of more bundles. So a little more cheaper. They have more of that kind of stretchy type of feel. A lot of them don't even get into like the super strength level qualities, which I think are really useful for things like squats and deadlifts. I know a lot of you guys are saying you certainly can just stack bands on top of each other, but especially what I've been doing using the plate system, those band stacking can start to become a little more cumbersome and become kind of an issue when you put it over underneath like a weight plate, even if you're kind of standing on them too. All right, now first starting with Serious Steel, and this is gonna go in no particular order of how I review these, but I have to say uh, this seems to be one of the most reputable and best respected companies from you guys that I've heard as far as making really high quality. And I think as far as what I'm finding, they have the highest strength bands available you guys can possibly buy, and I'll get into that a little bit. This company was nice enough to uh, give me a couple of their bands at a discount. I only opted to get two. I really wanted to compare the strength level comparison to like the X3, which I'll get into in a little bit because I really liked their band tension. I can't say enough about their customer service and also the willingness to even work with me. They got these out to me very quickly. I think that says a lot about their company. I won't say the other companies I reached out to, but there were some other companies reached out to the high reputable uh, resistance bands that uh, honestly, you want nothing to do with me, didn't acknowledge me. Uh, so whatever that's worth, these guys have awesome customer service, great company to kind of work with. You can find their bands on Amazon for the same price, but on their website, they have a bunch of other stuff, more tailored towards powerlifting and stuff like that. Uh, they have free shipping. Shameless plug, if you use my discount code, I think it does give you the best price available you can find on the internet for if you're gonna think about picking up one of these bands. So I just wanna throw that out there. So these two that I got, you guys are seeing the unboxing here. It does come with a very heavy kind of silt. I noticed some of these bands have this kind of like silt on them that I would recommend definitely kind of washing off with some water. It'll rub off eventually, but I didn't do that. Uh, you could tell right when I opened these things, this thing was heavy duty. This thing is serious, this gray one. They actually even make a stronger one that is a 
orange one. This is one where the weight, in my opinion, doesn't really match up too much. Uh, this gray one says it's 115 to 290 pounds. And I found this very comparable to the X3 Elite Band, uh, which says it goes up to like 600 pounds of double loop tension. I don't know how these things are all rated. That's the other thing I don't really know when you start talking about what you see on their website. But I will say, if you're looking for like a cheaper alternative to the X3 Elite Band, I thought this one honestly felt exactly the same, if not uh, maybe a tiny bit stronger. Granted, I would have been stretching and using that one up a lot more. I'll just say this too, if you guys are looking for like thick bands, what's the purpose of these? Maybe at the end I'll talk about the various purposes of why you might consider one versus the other. If you're doing things like squats specifically, that's why I use this thing. Even the uh, X3 bar press, or it's like I just said that J Bryant bar is another alternative. You can get by with doing, you want some kind of heavy to kind of do that press with. This would be the type of band that would be kind of more for you. So I love this one as a replacement. If this thing ever broke, or I kind of swap these back and forth. So definitely a high quality band. I'm really interested to see what their orange one feels like, because in my opinion, that's got to be one of the strongest bands in the market. Then their black one in comparison, this is where it gets very subtle. If you guys are holding all these different bands, you have the luxury to actually do this, you can kind of tell what you're working with where Compared to the black X3, which looks exactly the same kind of when they're matched up against each other, you can tell the black X3 is a little thicker. And so yes, the black X3 does feel a little bit stronger than this one. So at the end, I, I'll probably mention, I kind of fine tune, do drop sets and stuff like that. So I might start with this one or start with this one with lighter tension all sorts of ways to kind of fine tune things. But the point is this black one's not in the same level as this, it's a little bit lighter, but still this is a great all purpose band if I'm doing things like uh, lighter squats, a little bit higher repetitions, still dials up the tension pretty good. Great for kind of band pressing, also great for deadlifting. This company has a one year warranty and they do go out of their way. I got some notes here saying that they have about uh, 15 continuous layers of one piece of latex. Uh, apparently that's pretty good. And what that is, I've heard it's kind of more like how they roll tape. So there's a bunch of continuous layers. So if you do see these things kind of wear over time, not this one, other bands, you might see little like streaks or layers come off it. And from what I've heard from this company, this company doesn't really, it has a good time as far as holding up, which is kind of weird. They're all made, you'll see they're all pretty much made from Sri Lanka, which seems to be like the capital of resistance bands. So I might mention that a few times here. That was a good sign to me as far as like the quality. But overall, this thing is really great. The only con I would say with this one, I noticed specifically with the black one, it could just be you gotta break it in more, is it is a little slick. Not so much the gray one. When I was doing things like deadlift, I mentioned on some of the platforms, they can kind of want to like, slide off a little bit. The X3 is a little more abrasive, so it kind of holds it in more, but I even found that in this one too. So that's just something to be mindful about. You want to keep constant tension. This one had the most kind of more or less, uh, less friction if you're using like a ground plate. Getting into X3, some of you guys are gonna be a little upset I'm even including them because you can't buy their bands separately, but I just have to include them because this was kind of like the benchmark I was basically comparing all these bands to. Previously to this, I had the Undersum bands and some cheap Sunpow bands. When I started playing around these, I could tell, okay, these are definitely thicker in quality. Uh, Undersum, even Sunpow says they're made out of latex. I just think these are a little more quality made, also made in Sri Lanka. Uh, they boast on their website, like all these companies, that they're the strongest, best bands on the market. I do and will say, for me personally, the actual jump in length was perfect. I really love all these. In fact, I actually kind of baby these because I don't want to wear them out too fast. This Elite Band is an extra, which is a little expensive. I bought it on sale. I would say if you want to save price on something like that's comparable to this, I would say that Sirius Steel Gray would be a good option. But I just liked overall the, the tension of this, and maybe that's just because of preference I started getting used to these. If you ever did want to buy these or they break, you kind of have to already have an X3 and kind of be in their system. Uh, so that kind of stinks. But from what I did here, and I know some people don't like this, like on the X3 band, some people think they're a little too hard for some people, even this thin one. Uh, some people, I've heard their company somewhere, I saw this, that their customer service rep actually recommended Sirius Steel as like another alternative for a little bit lighter tension, probably because maybe they're cut a little bit thinner, I don't know, at least in some of them. But I love all these, like this little white one, I like for bicep curls, even for like bent over rows, overhead presses, even though this thing is light, it's great. This second round up is perfect for bicep curls. Um, also bent over rows feels really good. Black one uh, really is my favorite for like pressing, doing chest presses with some sort of X3 bar, some sort of bar system if you're doing some sort of chest presses. Uh, I like this gray one a lot just for basic deadlifts. This also has good dialed in focus tension. And now getting into Rogue Fitness, I would say of all these, these have the most kind of pleasing aesthetic look to them. I think the colors kind of really pop and their logo is cool. Granted, all these logos are gonna wear off. These kind of have the same kind of nice feel and nice stiffness and tension and even weight to them that the X3 and Sirius Steel has. I'll get to later some differences and some other tension, but I really like how these feel. They, found, they feel very comparable. Like a lot of these, they have a different kind of cut to them. So just like with my, having the X3, these are kind of a little bit subtle where this uh, red one looks pretty hardcore, but it's a little bit easier 
than the uh, orange one compared to X3, a little bit heavier than the X3 black. This purple one is a little bit lighter than the X3 black. So good for things like deadlifts and stuff like that. Even these three bands, I mean, if you guys, you guys kind of know this, but if you start kind of pricing these out, this, these three right here got pretty expensive. I paid for these ones, these got pretty expensive. The black regular Rogue ones, the perfect all-purpose one, might be a little strong for some people for like things like curls, even overhead presses. This is kind of better just for, I would say lighter deadlifts, uh, maybe some little bit slightly heavier curls. But overall, the Rogue quality bands, what was interesting, I saw some reviews online, which kind of prompted me to do this one. When they compared the Rogue, compared to like Elite FTS, which I'll get to here shortly. Some people said the Rogue, had, the Rogue bands prematurely kind of wore. I think it goes without saying these things are also multi-layered, says they're out of whole latex, also made in Sri Lanka. So you think, what's the difference? But I'll maybe link that video down below. People said that like Lead FTS wasn't having as much of this kind of wear of the layering versus these did. But still, I would say I love the overall feel and the overall friction, I shouldn't say friction, the overall kind of uh, give and tension they got, gave off, a little more of that stiffness type of give. I really like all three of these colors, I'm sorry, all three of these are resistance settings. It's kind of an all-purpose, we're looking something kind of in the middle for things like deadlifts, squats. Uh, again, a little heavier for shoulder presses, but deadlifts and squats, certainly great all-purpose band, certainly for pull-ups too also. And I know this is kind of minor, but I think it's worth saying. I think of a band or some, any kind of fitness product is kind of inviting to use. Sounds stupid, I know I'm just gonna say it. I just like grabbing these. I just, because, maybe because of the color of the tension, I think there's something to be said with just the branding, uh, whatever that's worth. All right, now getting into my Elite FTS. These are the newest ones that I actually got. You can tell I didn't fully break these in. I should maybe said in the beginning, this is kind of like an initial kind of first impression video. I think all these, as far as quality and like wear and tear, I think would be somewhat equal, honestly. These, just like the X3, just like the uh, Rogue, Serious Steel, I'll get into rubber bandits in a second, have this nice kind of thick tension. Uh, they gave me this, I forget the pack they gave me, they got the, the Leap Pro Resistance Pack. Awesome company, these guys were so cool. They just gave me this whole set for free, which I think was over like over 120 something dollars. These came in bundles, I think more so if you're doing things like powerlifting, uh, where you can loop these over two different kind of barbells and stuff like that. Um, I'll probably use this on my um, clutch fitness plate if I need two bands for something. But really cool of them to actually send that. Probably the most generous as far as like all the product they gave me for free, that's awesome. The feel of them, you could tell, just like the other ones, very kind of has that stiff, high quality, dense latex feel versus some of them. Has a little bit of that, of that initial silt when you open that. It's weird because you think they all would come from the same company and the cuts would be kind of the same. They all have a different, slight different smell, slight different kind of like, kind of silt to them. I broke into these some more than, more than others. Uh, this blue one, the one thing I'll say that's kind of surprising with Elite FTS, because they boast themselves as powerlifting and stuff like that, I actually thought on their website they would have more of an array of assortment of bands. They do have some different types of bands other than these traditional loop bands, but I thought they'd have more of an array of like strength levels, kind of comparable to serious strength. This blue one is kind of one of the more upper level bands. They have a, something called a mammoth band, which looks strong, but if I'm just judging by the next level up from this, I don't think it'll be as strong as like the Series still or even the X3. Uh, this blue one kind of feels in comparison to the X3 black for whatever that's worth. And it, uh, I would say it's about similar, if not a little bit, a little bit light, a little bit of a lighter tension compared to that one. At the time of this recording, there is a sale going on for Memorial Day. So if you guys are curious about Elite FTS, checking out their sale, I got no affiliates with them whatsoever, but just want to say awesome company, really cool of them. These bands seem high quality. Again, I got kind of an array of an assortment here. I really like this, this red one too for a really high quality, stretchy one. Sometimes you get some light ones like this that you can tell have a real stretchy feel that you'd really worry you're gonna snap. This one you can tell is a very high quality uh, again, maybe it's just the layering or the thickness, really high quality thin band that even if you did things like bicep curls with this one, I think this would ramp up even overhead presses, I think we get kind of difficult. So really like these kind of three pack because they're interested in like a dual pack. All right, now getting into the Rubber Bandits band, not to be confused with the uh, video game, which is actually a really fun family game. If you're playing, I play with my kids a lot, it's actually a fun game. So as a side note, whenever I'm searching for this, I end up kind of finding that by default, but you get, it's a spell with D-I-T-Z if you're interested. Very cool company. I did a review for this way back uh, with this blue one. And I'll say this up front first, this blue one is probably my favorite all-purpose band. I don't know why. It's like the Goldilocks of all my bands. I like it for curls, bent over rows, overhead presses. If I had to bring one band with a like, default to, it's like one of my favorites, just default. I don't know why. It's the perfect cut, perfect tension, at least for me personally. Their blue one that says 40 to 80 pounds, I just love it. And that's just like these other ones, guys. There's something about the initial feel of them. I can't really describe it. I don't know if it's the like cutness, of the cut or whatever they do, you can tell this is another high quality band set. What's really makes this company stand out 
One, again, uh, these guys hooked me up with some free bands, so I can't say enough about that. Thank you uh, to Ari, he's the owner. Guy was really cool, really good, cool just checking in on me. I can't say enough about that, but he also gives back in the community. Some of their proceeds actually go back to like donating bands or some funds or something. Or you guys checked on their website, so that was probably the only company I saw that did that, uh, at least visibly that I saw that. But what is makes this company particularly stand out that I think is kind of insane, and I don't really know, honestly, I'm still not sure how they do it, but this is the only company that has a lifetime warranty. Most of these companies I just said have like a year warranty. I think they all can understand that. They all admit that the bands are gonna wear and tear over time, they're gonna break, replace them as they start to get old. This is the only company, that I even emailed them, like, do you guys really offer a lifetime warranty? I, mean, I wouldn't take advantage of this. I'd feel guilty if I just kept doing this. Like five years from now, they break, and like, hey, give me another one. But uh, they say they do. So you can double check, and maybe they, there's some intricacies I didn't ask, but I emailed Ari just directly, and he said, yeah, they offer a lifetime warranty. So that is huge, that is crazy in my opinion. I don't know how they do it. Maybe they're just thinking you guys aren't gonna replace them. I thought Undersun did that initially, and I thought they took it off, but that's, I might just be not hearing that correctly. I love all three of these bands. The only critique I would say is on their website and even like on Amazon, it's kind of confusing when you start searching because they have something called like functional training bands too. But I really love this kind of three pack. I actually probably am gonna buy, I wanna test their black one out because if all these band tensions feel the way they do, I feel like their black strongest will be pretty good. They don't go super strong in band tension, but I really love the cuts. I really love the way they feel. So. This is definitely an awesome company. Lifetime warranty might be the seller for most of you guys because this thing is pretty much priced equally to what the rest of the companies we're doing. All right, now getting into Clench Fitness, another incredibly awesome company. And again, I'm saying that with a bias because they hooked me up uh, above and beyond giving me their handles, which I haven't done a whole review yet. I'm still testing the waters with this. They gave me a great anchor point if you guys are going outside doing workouts, an anchor point, which is awesome. I reviewed their clench foot plate if you guys are curious on that, great foot plate. And then they gave me a three pack, well, they gave me uh, three different types of bands, maybe four actually, yeah, four uh, that came in pairs, which is really cool. Uh, the one thing I'd say about Clench Fitness, this is again, Bose itself is multi-layered. I think it was also made in Sri Lanka. Uh, just good quality band is what they're standing by. This is the only band that I would say we're getting to like that stretchy category where like if you pull on these, you can see these things have a, a really big give. And I will get into that with Undersun. I really like that with my Undersun fitness bands when I first kind of use them. But when you first start opening these things up and playing with them, it's not a big deal. In fact, I'm missing, I think one more of their bands, like an orange one, I'm not sure. Which actually the Elite FTS gave me an awesome orange one too, which is around here somewhere uh, that I actually really like a lot too. So. Props to Elite FTS, forgot to show them that one too. That's a really cool one. Uh, but these bands have kind of this, I would say like this glossy, almost like a, I don't wanna say slimy, cause it sounds like a bad way of describing it, but a different kind of uh, texture to it. It's not as like that, kind of like that harder, um, more like more abrasive type of resistance that I was getting from the other ones. Just this stretchy, you pull and then there's like this extra level give that kind of comes out, which is good for certain things, but I'm also be a little leery. I'd be worried about them snapping. If there's any band that I feel like had the potential to snap, it might be this. Now granted, I have some of their lighter ones, but if you like a more of a, of a stretch, which might go better with kind of their foot plate and their package. If you guys go on their website, you notice they don't necessarily cater to like serious fitness or like a bunch of different sub levels. They kind of pair things in pairs, I think because they're selling their system. They're not available on Amazon. I'll probably flash the uh, promo code from them. So a really cool promo code, I've got their stuff at a discount. Awesome company to work with, very cool to talk with, great customer service. They have an amazing YouTube channel that's talking about resistance band content. I encourage you guys to check that out. So if you guys are looking for like high quality, more of a bundle type of set, uh, more of an, I would say entry level for some people who want more of that lighter kind of forgiving type of stretchiness, these are definitely cool. All right, now we're getting into uh, my, my babies here, my Under Sun Fitness ones. I did some earlier reviews way back when and I really used to be my default resistance band that I would, would recommend people to for a number of reasons. Notice I have their traditional orange and I have their elite camo. I got this one when it first came out. I'll just say, uh, I, this is my personal thing and it could have been different. Some people I think said they didn't agree with me on this. The camo one, the initial one, I think was billed as being like higher quality or something like that. I thought it was, I could be wrong, but I feel like these are just a little bit worse quality compared to the orange ones. At least in my, my I, had a couple, I had one that snapped immediately. Uh, just when using it, could have been my own error, could have been caught on something, but I find that they definitely have this, this is in that stretchy category, but if I was gonna pick up one or recommend one, I just could just have personal preference, I'd say to get the orange ones. 
These are really great. I think that James Grange put out awesome content uh, as far as like marketing something that was very simplistic. It didn't have levels of like strength. He just said, you know, medium, XL, whatever. As far as the band tensions, I really like the cut difference here. You can see this one snapped over time, but granted I had these for a while and probably a lot of these I should throw away. They got a bunch of cuts in them. What I'll just say with these is like, yeah, this is a great band set I'd recommend for people that are doing just starting out, want something very simple to kind of go outside and do some outdoor workouts. I would still baby these things though and not get them caught in anything too abrasive. Uh, but definitely in that stretchy category, these are, you can tell they're, they are both as being higher quality, but I would say that I, I first kind of liked that when I first talked about this, this one's ready to kind of give right now. But if you're looking for something with more strength, like doing things with squats and even deadlifts, yes, you can double loop these things, but I just feel like you want, to me, like I've been saying, it's much more easier to kind of use the foot plate with a bigger solid band and not having like all this like stuff getting too thick on you at the bottom. Not to mention if you're using your feet, it's just not gonna feel comfortable. So good all purpose band for the price. It's less expensive. I think it's priced to probably the cost of what you're getting. So more of that stretchier give, not that kind of stiffness that I was talking about compared to the other ones. All right, now speaking of cheaper side, now we're getting into like the Sun Pow set. I reviewed these a while ago. Granted, I haven't put these things to too much use until honestly recently. I was using my under sun bands uh, prior to that. These are highly rated in the sense that they're very affordable. Uh, people seem to like them for what, they, for what they do. I will put these in that same category as under sun, a cheaper under sun type of category. Even their strongest band really isn't super strong compared to those other bands and sets that I was talking about. Again, you can double loop them, but it gets a little cumbersome. I would say of all the bands, you could tell, it says this is latex as well. They have that thinner cut and they have that more kind of a stretchy, pliable type of feel to it. So this is up there in that category of like intro level. You're not thinking of doing anything too crazy with strength. If you're gonna start doubling up bands, I would start opting for like a heavier overall band uh, type of kit. But I will say some of these cheaper ones I too gravitate towards, even like their stronger ones for things like bicep curls and presses and bent over rows for high repetitions. Because they have this stretch, sometimes you guys kind of want that. And I'll maybe talk about that at the end and why you might want to combine different bands together. So even though it kind of looks a little insane to have this many bands, and granted it is, and I'm not telling you guys to go out and invest in tons of different bands, I will say the luxury I've had in experimenting in all these bands is that just like with dumbbells or anything else, I can really now fine tune that tension. And when you kind of pick up and feel these bands in your hands and you have all these different differences, you will notice the primary difference I've been kind of stressing the whole time really is the thickness of the cut of the band, the weight of the band and how kind of stretchy it is. You kind of know what you're gonna get after a while picking these things up and just feeling them in your hand, uh, just through your own dexterity as far as what the tension is gonna be like in your own experience. So I've been finding myself kind of switching in bands for certain reasons, even doing like drop sets, which has been really cool. So again, that's kind of a luxury, for, at least for me, that having all these. So I'm not saying go out and do that, but there is something to be said with these different band tensions and what you want to get out of it. Now, with that being said, who would I recommend certain bands for? I would say like if you're getting something cheaper, you want to get kind of an entry level thing, you're thinking of doing like outdoor workouts, stuff that is a little bit more kind of single joint in nature and not thinking about using like the ground plate system like I've been showing before in these previous videos. I would say go to like the Undersun, possibly the Clench Fitness, and then the um, Sun Pow bands. I'm not saying clench fitness is necessarily cheap on their side, but as far as like the band tension, that stretchiness feel, I would go with any three of those and then just kind of price it accordingly to whatever budget you guys want to spend. And then there's a certain level of this. I've already said this a little bit. I mean, judge your own aesthetics. If you like a particular color versus one, go with that. There are certainly other companies on Amazon. People like the kind of military look like the Iron Infidel makes the whole set that is here is comparable to like Undersun, but just throwing that out there. And then when you start talking like more higher dense quality stiffness and give and tension and resistance, Elite FTS, the X3, Serious Strength, Rubber Bandits, these would be all in that same kind of category. So maybe a band breaks, you wanna try a little upgrade, try something like that. Try the one that's price point to you that you like the best. Uh, the Rogue, I also didn't include that in the mix. It's some here, I'm buried in bands here. Uh, Rogue, certainly another option uh, for just finding that kind of mid-grade zone. If you guys are curious about how all, all, all these kind of feel as far as rankings and difficulty, definitely shoot me that email. If you don't have any system, you're looking at like a band bar setup or something like that, that's the only reason I guess I'd ever recommend X3. I love their style of bands. And I, if I were gonna price this again and not get an X3, I would kind of build bands accordingly in the sense that like the, the purple and green rubber bandits are awesome. 
Uh, Elite FTS is kind of like their black one. If I'm looking for something that's a little bit stronger than their black one, I would go with like the Red Rogue. And then if I want something like their Elite level band, I would go with this gray Sirius Steel. And if you want even crazy level, which I haven't messed with yet, would be the orange Sirius Steel. So that'd be a way if you kind of want a price point and kind of compare like the X3 system, but you'll notice that kind of racks up in cost. So that's something to consider if you just want like a band bar plate system. And that's where I'd say these really come in handy. Using that plate board system, not to kind of sell you guys not too much, I have a whole video, I'll link it down below. That's where I really like this kind of dense stiffness. If I was going outside like an outdoor workout and want something more versatile that was lighter and more forgiving with single joint stuff with more of like a glove type workout, then yeah, I would probably go under Sun, Sun Pao, Clench Fitness, that would kind of make more sense. And in closing, the one thing I will say is baby your bands. Pay attention to the abrasive surface. Learn from my mistakes. I definitely did not do that. I did not care with a lot of my equipment. I tend to kind of beat it up. I don't baby it at all whatsoever. Bands, I thought I could do the same thing, but once you get one little nick in the side, they're a deep cut, you're kind of asking for it. It's gonna break at one point. So these things are kind of fragile in my opinion, even though, even though they're the high quality dense ones, but certainly when you're talking like thin ones like this, uh, this one, I just really baby. I barely would use it. And when I'd use it, I would not put it onto something because I know it's going to break anytime soon. So that's the only thing I'll say. Baby your bands, take care of them. They'll take care of you. Any questions, comments, feedback, let me know. And I'll see you guys in the next video. Thank you.